Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we are going to be doing the Walking Dead Season 7 Episode 15 review. Um, I'm s very happy that I'm able to get this up the day the episode is the day after the episode was aired. But I do have some bad news. Um, so I've been really packed in with my schedule, and I do not have enough time to edit and f um, all that stuff for uh, my reaction video. I usually have my camera set up and everything right when the episode starts to the end, and then I edit it. But I did not have enough time. I didn't have enough time to set up my camera and stuff, and I got so sidetracked, and I had to do some chores and all that and all that stuff. So um, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be doing The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 15, Something They Need. Review. The first up, so they're going to the ocean side, and then Maggie is acting like a leader, which I really, really like because every single episode we see her, she gets more. And more like a leader. They're setting up the bombs. A savior comes and visits Sasha. Then he tries to rape her. Negan comes and stops him. And then he stabs him in the neck. Like, it, it was like intense. But it's just like the comic books. Um, then Negan gives her four options. Kill him with the knife. Kill herself with the knife. Like slit her wrist, she, he said. Let David turn and eat her. Or she kills David. David, because, you know, like, he's going to turn, so she has to put him down. But, um, Eugene brings Sasha some things. They speak. Eugene wants Sasha to join Negan and the Saviors. Eugene reveals why he is on Negan's side. So he's on Negan's side right now because he, like, the first time he ever met Negan when, um, when, uh, in the woods when he's standing over him about to bash someone's head and he said that's the most scary he's ever been in his life. So that's why he's on his team, because he doesn't want to ever be that scared again. Um, so, Gregory visits Maggie, and then he's standing behind her with a knife, and he starts going at her. Like, he's about to, and then, like, he just, like, stops, and he's like, and then a walker comes. So, um, but then, yeah, and Mag, and then she, Maggie has to save Gregory, and he's never killed a walker before either. And then a really interesting part, Natanya walks into a building and then Tara pulls a gun on her and she's like, hi. It was, I liked that scene a lot. Um, then, then Cindy walks in and they talk and then a bomb goes off. Then Daryl and Jesus and some others, they come and capture Beatrice and Kathy, which are the two women from Oceanside that were taking Tara back to like, the bridge that they said, and then they betrayed her and all that stuff. Then Natanya tackles Tara, and Cindy pulls a gun. Then they capture all of the Oceansiders, wanting the guns. Then Natanya comes out with Tara. They are telling her, they are telling Rick and them about what the Saviors did, and then some, and actually some of the Oceansiders, they did want to fight. So, they did want to fight them. Then, so, then Cindy knocks out Natanya, but the weird thing is, Enid was about to um, kill her. She's, like, standing behind her with a gun, like, she's about to shoot her. Then Michonne yells out, walkers! There was tons of walkers. They're awesome walkers, though. Then they start killing them together. Um, then Natanya says they can have their guns, but they're not going to fight. Negan comes to Sasha. Sasha chose to kill David, so that means she's on Negan's side now. Gregory tells Cal to drive him somewhere, which I will be doing a discussion talk video about that because I think I know I know in the back of my mind, so make sure to look out for that. Um, look out for that video. And then Sasha says it was a mistake. Then he asks Eugene. Then she asks Eugene for a gun, knife, razor blade, glass, anything um, to kill herself. Then Cindy says thank you to Tara for fighting the saviors. Then Eugene gives Sasha the suicide pills. The group arrives back at Alexandria from the ocean side. Then. Re Rosita reveals that it was Dwight that was over there, and he is in Alexandria, and he wants to help. And I really like the scene where Daryl went after Dwight. I was like, oh, yes, get him, get him, get him. And then I was like, and then I just started immediately thinking about the comic books. Like, yeah, he, Dwight is in the comic books, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know if there can be a Dwight and Daryl on the TV series, but, man, I really hope that they don't kill off Daryl. But, um, so... Thank you guys for watching my Walking Dead Season 7 Episode 15 review. I should have my predictions for the season finale that's next weekend up 
right after this, and I'm so pumped for the season finale. It looks so flippin' awesome. I'm so excited for that episode. So make sure you guys check it out this Sunday, or if you're watching it after. It's April 2nd, 2017. It's called The First Day of the Rest of Your Lives, and I'll be doing a predictions video about that um, right after this. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Ranch TWD channel. Oh, wait, can't forget this. We just hit 50 subscribers as well. So thank you guys very much. And I'll see you guys next time on Ryan's TWD channel.